Hello fellow pilots. This is uh, Lawrence with Maui Flight Academy. I'm here today with Brent. We're just departing the Big Island, heading towards uh, Hana Maui. And uh, today we are talking about the impossible turn. Now, I posted an article in Pilots Who Fly Angle of Attack. If you haven't joined that Facebook group, uh, please do so. And, um, of course, this is not something you want to try at home. And I also uh, don't recommend doing uh, this procedure without your flight instructor on board with you. And do not do this without an angle of attack indicator. So let's talk a little bit about the theory behind the impossible turn and angle of attack. The idea behind peak angle of attack is a maximum lift over drag uh, point on the curve. And we want to be able to fly the aircraft in that regime, maintaining the blue donut. And that gives us the maximum oh, endurance or the maximum amount of time uh, that we can stay airborne. Now, let's talk a little bit about best glide speed versus max uh, or angle of attack or peak angle of attack. Glide speed is, is a speed to give you the greatest distance from point A to point B, to extend the distance. But it is not the speed at which to stay in the air as long as possible. That's a different speed. Usually they're very, very close. But what we're trying to do is stay in the air as long as possible. Why? Well, in order to turn 270 degrees back to the airport, at a low altitude, we have to have a turn rate that will be quick enough to make the turn in the given amount of time and given amount of altitude. In this case, we're going to simulate at 500 feet. We've never done this before in this aircraft, so we're going to do this for the first time today. We may, may not be successful, and don't worry, we're not doing this actually over a runway at 500 feet. We'll be at 4,500 feet simulating a takeoff uh, departure going into essentially what we practice for, which is those departure stall procedures. And the first thing we want to do is go immediately to a 45 degree angle of bank, because we got to get the turn started right away. Now you're in a nose high attitude, so you want to get the nose down to where you're at peak or blue angle, or uh, the blue dot on the uh, angle of attack. Now we're going to do this to the left. And why turn to the left instead of the right? Well. In our aircraft, the angle of attack uh, probe is on the left wing. So it's going to measure the angle of attack more precisely on the left wing than the right wing. And so since we are turning to the left, the left wing we don't want to stall, right? So uh, if you're turning to the right, you may be too slow during that turn. And so, uh, of course, you can still do the procedure. You'd have to be doing it at a, at a slightly higher airspeed. Um, and if you, you can only really do this with an angle of attack indicator. It's also, it's also important to understand you always must keep the aircraft in coordinated flight. That means you keep the ball in the center. And as you do the procedure, if you get the ball out of uh, center, then you could actually stall spin the aircraft. So this, of course, is where the impossible turn happens, where a lot of people have tried to do that. We are not recommending doing the impossible turn in this scenario. What we're trying to help the audience understand is that if you have an angle of attack indi indicator, you have no other options, then this is a procedure that might result in a good outcome. There's takeoff speed. Okay, there's a stall horn. All right, we're taking off. Once we get to 3,000, we'll simulate engine failure. I've got a right rudder in. Just like a normal takeoff. Okay. We're pretty much at VX. We're going to lower the nose just a little bit for VX. Okay. All right, and 3,000 feet coming up. Engine has failed. Immediately, start your 45 degree bank. There's the blue donut. We want to stay up in the air as long as possible. Got to get in the center. There we go.
Actually, 30 degrees is all we really need. And there it is. 500 feet. We did the impossible turn with the angle of attack indicator. 